As you probably know, in the world of racing and off-road, Aldi is one of the best names out there. Though Aldi have become a star of a Dakar rally, with their all-electric Audi, RSQ e-tron made a splash at launch. Now though they are ready for the next step, this is the new and improved version of Audi's RSQ e-tron rally radar. The Audi RSQ e-tron e2 does not adopt a single body part from its predecessor. In order to comply with the prescribed interior dimensions, the cockpit, which was previously narrowly recessed towards the roof, is now significantly wider. The front and rear hoods have also been redesigned. This is accompanied by the lowering of the vehicle's center of gravity. Building on the lessons learned from a semi-successful Dakar 2022, Alden and Victory in the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, the E2 promises better efficiency and less weight as it heads into battle with the dunes and other cars. Even on the other side of the big dune, BMW can't sit still. The German automaker has just unveiled an all-electric off-roading prototype called the Dune Taxi. They really created a sand beast of the Dakar rally, symbolizes BMW's ambition to challenge the status quo. Dune Taxi is an all-electric wild off-road that looks suspiciously like an extreme e-racer. Though BMW hasn't released any details about the Dune Taxi's intentions, it is more likely BMW is dropping a big hint that it plans to enter the extreme E off road championship. If Audi can make it this clean on the sand dunes, BMW can too. It seems that the game on the dunes of Audi and BMW has made Porsche feel hot-eyed. Now, in one of the toughest places on Earth, on the sheer slope of Ojos del Salado in Chile, the world's highest volcano, a bizarre design of the Porsche 911 that is exploring its own limits. For approaching 60 years, the Porsche 911 has been pushed to extremes on both the track and on the open road. Now it has been pushed to the extreme of madness. <laughs> 